모두 동반 유턴 마시고 있는 바리스. So in answering those um, the other philosophical schools of Buddhism, I'm so sorry. I think they no. may refuse. No, no refuse. Um, the, the, in refusing their um, criticism and uh, rejecting their criticism, Master Nagarjuna says to them in, in his reply that your criticisms are all based on the fact that you do not understand, on the one hand, the purpose of the teaching of emptiness, and secondly, that you do not understand the nature of emptiness, and then, uh, uh, thirdly, you do not understand the meaning of emptiness. 다 똥머리 육 거봐서 누르자네. 나도 사실 때도 잡지 그래. 배지 잡지 있어도 돌아가 이보이다. 잡지 있어도 시비도 이보이다. 레드 뇨모 세베 탈. 자 탈바지 모였어. 어 탈바세야 돼. 신금 깨지 마리스. 탈바세야 돼. 애니 에 가서 사제 데 가서 그게 뇨알베 풍부. 디니 두치기 에 레다 티 군이 런치기 애니 呃，牛毛嘛，嗯，毛里边，第三说呢，第二不接别的东西，第三说呢，第二说呢，哎，你，他不是，来到牛毛三百，他是，我呢来到牛毛四路，可能来说呢，来到，到蓬勃的，啥
And so, um, so with regards to how things do not exist, uh, the way um, the, this grasping at a self and actually holds on to, um, because all the Buddhist uh, uh, philosophical schools like Vaibhashika Sotrantika Chitta Matra and uh, the uh, Madhyamaka say that things are empty, um, things are selfless. They do not have that kind of existence just the, as they appear to. And uh, this misconception holds on to. Mm, while saying this, of course, still the uh, other uh, uh, philosophical schools still hold on to or assert that there must be some essence which is the identity of the things. Objectively. No, objective existence of things. Although they, uh, they do say that things are selfless, um, uh, that the, the things are without self, but they still hold on to some objective existence, some es there, there being some essence in it, because they say that if there is no such an essence or an objective existence in things, then we would be actually denying any existence. That would be uh, nihilism. And so to avoid that, they uh, hold on to the, this kind of objective existence in things. And therefore, in the 27th chapter, it's very clearly mentioned uh, how um, the, their position is, I mean, their, the Master Nagarjuna actually Kuri. brings up... 27th, uh, Tanji. No, 24th. Uh, 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 Tanji, what is this one? Tanji, what is this one? Yes. Tanji, what is this one? Yes. Uh, the 24th uh, chapter, I'm sorry. He no, 24th, 24th. 24th chapter, he uh, clearly uh, brings up or, uh, the, the, the positions of the other, uh, the criticisms of others um, uh, for the Madhyamaka, Prasangika Madhyamaka is saying that there is no uh, I, I want essence. to just, see, just share to you. You see, this text, I quite regularly sort of study and thinking, meditate. 
So it's quite clear. Otherwise, you see, he really now create confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, I'm sorry about that. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Master Nagarjuna actually says that the, the dear criticism is uh, purely based on their not understanding the purpose, the, the, uh, the nature uh, uh, or the identity and then the, uh, the meaning of uh, emptiness. Um, and uh, the, uh, therefore, with regard to the meaning of emptiness, uh, with regard to, first of all, the purpose of the teaching of em on, on emptiness uh, in this chapter, um, what is actually said is, uh, Master Nagarjuna says that um, the, by overcoming or um, exhausting one's karma and the negative emotions, which uh, one, one attains um, uh, nirvana, liberation. And so liberation here in, is under, uh, not to be understood. He's, uh, he makes clear that liberation is not to be understood in terms of some kind of a paradise that you actually uh, 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 land into, but it's this freedom from the, uh, the kind of birth that comes about the, due to karma and our negative emotions. And so when you actually uh, free yourself from such a condition, such a bondage, um, uh, by cultivating I mean, the, this, this uh, liberation, um, uh, cultivating the antidotes, the counter forces that, uh, to overcome these negative, uh, the karma and the negative emotions, then uh, you, you actually reach a freedom from, state of freedom from that, and the, these bondage, and that is what is meant by uh, liberation. And so, as to how to end this, uh, the karma and the negative emotions, um, he says that um, uh, in, this, in the same, uh, right after this first line where he says the uh, exhausting karma and negative emotions is uh, liberation there. Um, and then he says that these two, the, negative, uh, the karma and negative emotions, actually arise um, through... Um, and through some kind of misconception, and a misconception, and uh, which actually is not in accordance with the reality, and uh, therefore, this, uh, no. now at this point, one uh, American uh, scientist who who because of the deal with people is who some sort of that because of mental crisis. Uh, I met him a few years ago in Stockholm, Sweden. Sweden. Uh, he actually you see, wrote one book. You see, he gave me the, that copy. Uh, prison. Prison. Prison, uh, hate. prison of ha hatred. Prisoner of hate. Prisoner of hate. No. Hmm? And he mentioned when we develop anger, uh, the object which we feel angry. You see, that appears something very negative. But actually, 90% of that negativeness is our own mental projection. So this is the same point. So that uh, uh, we have this misconception of what actually is there. And so that actually kind of uh, we call exaggerates uh, the, the, in our, in our outlook on the things. And uh, then uh, with regard to the karma, of course, we are here talking about the impure karma that we have to overcome, which comes through our craving and attachment. And that, uh, in turn, is uh, related or uh, dependent on this kind of misconception, the distorted view of how, uh, seeing things, uh, what is not there, actually. And uh, then, uh, with regard to the negative emotions, of course, we can. Uh, this refers to the um, those of uh, our attachment and uh, hatred or anger. 
And uh, the, the conception that Mr. Nagarjuna refers to here is this exaggerated way of looking at things. And, uh, and uh, called, uh, these, in turn, of course, give rise to, um, are, are rooted in, in seeing some kind of objective existence in things, or true existence in things. And uh, therefore, in order to go against these misconceptions and then the uh, negative emotions, which in turn give rise to the karma, what we need to do is try to investigate into the things um, to see that uh, the, the using reasoning, um, to, uh, through reasoning, what we have to, uh, to try to, uh, what we have to come to is that this way of seeing things to have some kind of objective, independent existence is not actually there, not true. And therefore, the reality is something else, whereas this misconception holds on to that kind of thing, an independent existence. And therefore, when once you are able to see how this uh, grasping at a true objective existence is the root of the rest of the negative emotions, then you will be able to uh, overcome uh, the uh, Called, uh, the, the conceptions, the, this uh, called, which is firstly, not accordant with... Firstly, we can no. all these negative emotions. <laughs> then familiarize further, further, further. Then since, uh, I think two, two factors. Oh, I said, come. Oh, yes. I, I, I said, okay, okay. Then, you see, uh, two factors. One, any sort of awareness or kasodapana wisdom or mental quality. All these are the quality, mental quality. So the, these qualities basis is mind. So mind formless. So can, and then also continuation. On that sort of factor, you see, any good quality, I mean any quality of mind, you see, can develop infinitely. Then differences, anger, uh, hatred, attachment, these also mental quality. But these quality, I mean these quality based on ignorance. So you see, cannot develop infinitely. Because more think, more investigate, it becomes weaker. The positive emotion, the mental quality, based valid reasons. So thinking more, thinking more, its strength increasing. Then number two factor, the very nature of mind is pure. As I mentioned earlier, uh, sensory level consciousness, then mental level. Mental level also, uh, awakened state. Now this moment, we are experiencing certain level of, um, of the mind. Then dream, during dream, another level of mind. Deep sleep without dream, another level of mind. Then faint, another deeper level of mind. Then at the time of dying, deepest mind. So, uh, so therefore, you see, the, all these the destructive emotion always grosser level, not deeper level. Wisdom can combine with deeper level of mind. This also through experience, you may gain some, some sort of feeling like that way. So therefore, uh, uh, these are the sort of the major sort of today factor, factors of the major basis. Our mind, positive mind, can increase indefinitely. Infinitely. Huh? Infinitely. Infinitely. Yes. Infinitely. Infinitely. So, the final wisdom can, can be possible through training, through meditation. This very mind eventually can be Buddha's mind. So that we call Buddha nature, seed of Buddha. Hmm.
And uh, then um, when it comes to um, overcoming this, uh, the grasping at a true or independent uh, existence of things, um, Master Nagarjuna goes on to say in this uh, 24th chapter that uh, uh, the, the karma, after having said that the karma and these delusions come from this distorted way of looking at things, and that in turn is actually based on um, uh, some kind of a, a seeing things I think in here, a fabricated way. I think way. you can also, you see, the ultimate, ultimately, deep insight, some sort of part of God. So we describe Buddha nature. So those theistic religions can interpret some kind of, ultimately, some kind of God's nature, Father's nature. And so, um, Master Nagarjuna goes on to say that those in turn, those distorted views in turn are uh, related or based on some kind of mental construct that we create. And uh, that mental construct or mental uh, fabrication or um, reification can be overcome uh, uh, by the understanding of emptiness. And so, with regard to this, um, what we need to uh, understand here is that we need to actually be able to um, destroy all and any and all kinds of objectification of things. Because when, what, as uh, uh, called, uh, Nagarjuna, Master Nagarjuna also mentions in his uh, stan uh, fundamental uh, stanzas of the middle way, right in the beginning, uh, the, the, the uh, called, uh, pacifying all mental constructs. And so this, uh, uh, this is taught, of course, in terms of how, when you actually do analysis, critical analysis into how things exist, uh, he goes on to reject, uh, call, uh, the, uh, make the uh, mention that there is no birth, no ceasing, and so forth. These eight different kinds of um, call, uh, uh, things that are rejected. But those are from the point of view of having destroyed all objectification of things and events. And so um, we need to do that. Because if things were to have any kind of existence, the way they appear to us, then th that should be the final nature, the basic nature of things. And whereas the things do appear to us as being having some independent existence, that is not the case. If uh, the things do, uh, were to exist the way they appear to us, they should be ex uh, independently existent. And that should be the real nature of things, whereas this is not the case. And so, um, called, um, in the in the in the in view of this, in the uh, called uh, in the face of this analytical, uh, called uh, critical analytical investigation, and um, you 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 what you get at is this specification or the uh, the the called a rejection of all elaborations, all uh, called uh, reifications. And uh, uh, the, the, because if that is remained, that objectification is remained, then um, call, uh, the, the rest of the uh, call, uh, negative emotions and so forth will so grasping. arise. No. Grasping. No. Oh. So that, uh, then, when attachment develop, oh, something grasping. Oh, it is so beautiful, so nice. Now, negative, oh, appears very negative, independent, Absolute negative. So, so from bottom of heart, hate, anger, like that. So once we, uh, even we sort of heard, oh, these are mental projection, much involved mental projection. Then it's that kind of very strong, so because of that. Grasping. Ka, Grasping. Oh, so because of hard thinking is way. No. So uh, you, you, you get this very strong feeling uh, and grasping at something, and that will be reduced. And uh, even, of course, um, uh, go, uh, when, when some, uh, uh, some of the uh, philosophical schools with Buddhism, for example, uh, with, in, with regard to Master Bhave Viveka, although he says that there is no self, there's, uh, I think now this uh, okay. Search. Now it's too much. Hmm. Yes. Now time. <laughs> <laughs>
no. Okay, uh, I want to share with you one sort of my own sort of the, uh, one, one of my sort of what's the friend. You see, uh, and many years ago, you see, he felt these Nagarjuna's sort of theories, these sort of explanation. He just felt because of the, uh, uh, not relevant. Uh, this is just sort of his uh, something like show off. No. <laughs> As a sort of, what's it, the thesis of his own Kasota master, master degree. Uh, then later, now that my friend, you see, realized, oh, that is something, the ultimate real weapon to destroy the basis of anger, attachment, these things. So that, uh, now that's the purpose of the concept of emptiness. Now the meaning of emptiness, that they left. Yes. And the meaning of, yes. the, and the, with regard to the nature or the identity of this emptiness, um, it is um, said to be a, 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 a phenomena which is called a uh, negative phenomena. And within this uh, negative phenomena... Negation. Ne, no. Negative is always negation. No. Negative. No. The, uh, what sense negative? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see, you know, when you see uh, the, uh, someone, you see the kasoda, uh, or hear some kasoda, for example, the elephant, uh, then uh, elephant does not exist, but does not exist. Well, does not exist. Elephant is exist. The absence of, isn't it? No. Elephant does not exist. So that does not exist is exist. Clear. <laughs> then you see when we look, elephant is something positive, positive way. Absence of ele elephant, not that way, but the negation. Mere negation. So when you talk about the absence of elephant here, you're, you're actually referring to something which is a mere negation of the elephant in this hall. And so emptiness is a mere negation of the independent existence of things. And so that's the nature of uh, emptiness. And therefore, when you realize emptiness, you have this uh, experience of uh, the diversity actually dissolving into one taste. And um, um, the, then, the, with regard to the meaning that of emptiness... That also two types. No. For example, no elephant, then just mere kasoda no. negation. No elephant, but then what were you, because you get impression. Oh, elephant, not there, but something. No elephant, but, however. So that he indicates no. the some of the that Kaksha chairs on the Rimoso. Kaksha can't be sure that you get a shield. Timoinga. So within the what is known as the negative phenomena, um, not to mean any negativity or anything like that, but negative phenomena, we have what are known as the implicative negative phenomena and non-implicating negative phenomena. And so in the case of saying there is no elephant here, but it is the second category of negative phenomena, uh, non -imp I mean, uh, and, uh, the first category, which is implicating something. When you say there is no elephant, but I mean, you get some sense of the person is talking about so there is something there. So uh, that's the uh, kind of uh, implicating negative phenomena. And uh, then with regard to the meaning of emptiness, uh, so Master Nagarjuna... Emptiness no. is category of just absence of thing. Because uh, of the, the absolute the negation. negation. No. Non-implicating. Oh negative phenomena. Emptiness is a non-implicating negative phenomena. And uh, the, the, this mere absence of that independent existence in things. And uh, the, regarding the meaning of emptiness, Master Nagarjuna says in uh, his fundamental stanzas, uh, what is dependently originated is said to be empty.